I got Kevin Weeks in on this video project, and Weeksy is the man. He's the founding member of the Ten Union. He played for the Florida Panthers, Canucks, Lightning, uh, Devils, Rangers. He's done it all. There's a highlight I'm going to show with you right now with Jordan Bennington, and I I'm not going to explain it. Just take a look for yourself. Behind the goal for Bennington. Did you see how he just moved that puck? He used the toe. He just used the toe of the stick, and those things aren't easy to do that. I mean, now he's just having fun. Toe drag right there as a goaltender. I mean, you talk about feeling good. Now, this move is revolutionary for one of a couple reasons. Some people are gonna comment and say that it's just a fad, it's a one-time thing. I really like the move because it gives you options. It's like a foosball flipper, basically. And so you're not eluding the opposing team as to I'm making a forehand pass, I'm making a backhand pass. Kevin Weeks was nice enough actually to allow me to use an audio message he sent me the other day talking about Jordan Bennington and some of the innovations that Jordan Bennington's running the game. I wanna show you that right now before we transition to the ice time. He makes the best reads, he doesn't overhandle it, He's very composed when he goes out to handle it from any of those places. Uh, I talked to Turco about it with Binner, actually, during NHL Awards in Vegas. Turk was kind of touched in the fact that I mentioned him, but he is the best puck handling goalie in the league right now. I think Mike Smith probably shoots it harder. I mentioned earlier there was no rotation in the upper body. I found this true in one scenario. Now from the actual game between the Blues and Wild, if you look, Jordan Bennington actually is not flipping the wrist. He's not flicking it like a foosball flipper, but he's not doing that. He's just rotating his body and swooping the puck along to the boards to the uh, right side D-man. This is option two of what is possible with this move. So again, you can flick it with the wrist, you can move it along if you're very easy and gentle on it. A little bit of upper body rotation is going to be key to this component. And you can snap off a forehand pass. You can also snap off a backhand pass. There are lots of options here. I think he is so strong mentally between the ears. Here's Bufflin to Shifley. What a save by Bennington. Is it nerve wracking to you? You're, you're a flat liner, but it seems. Do I look nervous? <laughs> no. <laughs> the guy doesn't give a f about anybody and he just goes out and performs I, I cannot respect the dude enough i honestly would say that he's probably my new favorite goalie if not top two i really do love uh brayden holpe as well i really try to model my game after brayden holpe again i cannot thank kevin weeks enough this video is not possible though weeksy and the insight and the connections that he has kevin weeks thank you very much for making this video possible and yeah video's over so it has very recently been brought to my attention that people actually don't know what sideline swap is first letters si si a siberian husky d I'm not going to touch that part. E, as in E.T., the alien. L-I-N, I believe it's a basketball player in the NBA. Uh, Jeremy Lin, I think was his name. So we're going to go with that. E again, another E.T. Now swap, I believe swap was a warp pipe in Mario Party. So if you put it all together, we have a Siberian Husky with a big on the hunt for E.T. with Jeremy Lin and another E.T. going through Mario warp pipe. That makes no sense, but it doesn't matter. Go to sidelineswap.com and I'll see you next week.